Shoulder injuries and wrist injuries can be fairly common in yoga, and they can make it difficult for us to weight bear in our hands and through our shoulders. So that means things like plank, chaturanga, downward facing dog all become off limits for a little while, but we still wanna be able to practice yoga. And that's what this class is for. There will be no weight bearing through your hands or through your shoulders. I will be personally lifting my arms up over my head. If you're able to do that with me, that's fantastic. If, however, it causes you pain to lift your arm up, if you've been told for right now not to lift your arm over your head, then by all means, keep your hands at heart center, maybe hands on your hips. You do whatever is best for you. One more thing to note, you may want to set up your computer, your tablet, your phone, whatever it is you're watching this on, along the long side, the left side of your mat. We're going to do a lot of flowing back and forth between the front and the back of the mat, so having it along the left side of your mat may actually make it most accessible for you to see what's happening at all times. Let's start out in hero pose. So sitting on our shins. If this isn't comfortable for you, feel free to grab a block and sit on the block instead of directly on your shins. Bring your hands to heart center and close your eyes. Feel your sit bones press into your heels. Find a nice straight line from your heels to your hips to your shoulders and up through the middle of your ear. Find a comfortable pattern of breathing. Slow controlled inhale, full complete exhale. You'll have your own unique pattern of breathing throughout class today. There is no need to try and do exactly as I cue and inhale when I inhale or exhale when I exhale. Just stay in tune and aware of your own breathing. One more inhale and a full complete exhale. Slowly open your eyes and bring your hands by your sides. We're going to stand up and then come back down a few times. So up first onto your knees, then step your right foot forward, stand up, and then back down onto your right shin, left, and all the way down. Now let's do the left side. Up and stand, left shin, down, and sit. One more time on the right. And the last time here on the left. And when you get here, we'll stay standing. If it works for you, inhale your arms overhead. And exhale, hands to heart center. Shift a little bit over to your right so you're more towards the front of the mat, but stay facing if you are the left side of your mat. If you're not, turn and face the left side of your mat. We're going to start with a moon salutation. Inhale, arms up. Interlace your fingers. Release your pointer and your thumb. Inhale for length. Exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, side bend to the left. Inhale back to center. Exhale, step your left foot out to goddess. Inhale, stand up, straighten your left leg. Exhale, triangle pose. Bring your right hand down. Inhale for length. Exhale, fold over your left leg. Pyramid. Inhale, lift up, lower your right knee down, and come into low lunge. Hands down, 
Shift to the side for side lunge. Come to the middle of your mat, Malasana. And then over to the right for another side lunge. Turn to face the front of your mat, left knee down. Low lunge. Lift your left knee. Straighten your right leg. Inhale for length. Exhale, fold over your right leg pyramid. Inhale, open your body to the left triangle. Rise on up. Fine goddess. Step your right foot to meet your left. Inhale, arms overhead. Interlace your fingers. Release your pointer fingers and your thumbs. Inhale for length. Exhale, side bend to the left. Inhale back to center. Exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale back to center. Bring your arms through heart center and turn and face the back of your mat. Bend your knees. Find Utkatasana, chair pose. Weight back in your heels. Core nice and tight. Back strong. Keep your weight in your left foot. Come up onto your right toes. Cross your right ankle over your left knee and come into a standing figure four. You can bring your hands to your heart center if you'd like. Inhale, stand in your left leg. Bring your right knee up. Exhale, you can hold on around your big toe or without holding on, straighten your right leg out in front of you. And then open your right leg out to the side. Carefully bring your leg back behind you. Hold on to the inside or the outside of your foot and come into Dancer. Carefully release. Open up to Warrior Three. Reaching strongly overhead and back with your right foot. Bend your left knee. Bring your right knee to the outside of your left for a Shiva squat and then step back to high lunge. Take your high lunge and turn it to face the front of your mat. Bring your hands to heart center. Weight in your right foot. Bring your left knee to the outside of your right for a Shiva squat. Straighten your right leg, extend the left leg behind you and your arms overhead, warrior three. Stand in your right leg, reach back, hold on to the inside or the outside of your left foot. Not a Rajasana dancer pose. Bring your leg back in. Hands to heart center. You can hold on to your big toe or not. Open the leg first out to the side. Then bring it forward in front of you. And finally, cross your left ankle over your right knee. Sit down into your standing figure four. Place your left foot down, arms overhead, Utkatasana chair pose. And hands to heart center, stand tall. Nice big inhale. And a full complete exhale. 
Stretch your left leg back behind you. Bring your right hand down towards the mat. You can touch or not, whichever you prefer. And open your torso and your pelvis to the left side of the mat for half moon. Press firmly through both feet. Bend your left knee. Hold on to the outside of your left foot. Press your foot into your hand. Find a little baby back bend for sugar cane. Carefully release. Bend your right knee. Find your way into warrior two. Energetically pull both feet towards each other. Shift your hips to the left. Lean over to the right, side angle. And then up and back, reverse warrior. Once again, side angle. To reverse warrior. One more time, side angle to reverse warrior. Find your way back to warrior two and turn your warrior two to face the back of your mat. Turn your right toes in, your left toes out. Start with your reverse warrior. Reverse warrior to side angle. Reverse warrior to side angle. Once more, reverse warrior to side angle. And then back up to warrior two. Energetically drawing your feet towards each other. Sitting down into your hips. Reach your left arm forward, place your hand about a foot in front of your left foot, stand in your left leg, lift your right, and hold on to the outside of your right foot. Bring your foot back behind you, press your foot into your hand, sugar cane. Carefully release, right arm up, right leg back, Press firmly through that right foot like you're standing on it for half moon. And then slowly come back up to standing at Tadasana at the back of your mat. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, bend your knees. Cross your right leg over your left for eagle. Do whatever is comfortable for you with your arms. If you can do eagle arms, go ahead, but don't force it. Squeeze your legs together like one leg. Gaze at one unmoving spot to help with your balance. Carefully unwrap your right leg Bring the leg back behind you to find warrior three. Bend your left knee, place your right toes down and lower your right knee down. Low lunge and exhale back to half split. Forward to low lunge and back to half split. Once more, inhale forward, low lunge, and exhale back to half split. Come forward, walk your left foot towards the right side of the mat. Bring your left knee down, find pigeon. Let's do a nice, strong, upright pigeon. Draw your hips together, forward to back and side to side. 
Lift strongly up through your torso. Feel the stretch through your right hip flexor and the strength through your hips. One more inhale in your pigeon and exhale. Sit off onto your left hip. Bring your right foot forward all the way around on the outside of your left thigh. Hug that right leg, right hand behind you. Inhale for length, exhale to twist. Inhale for length and exhale to twist deeper. Slowly release. Open up to a nice wide leg fold facing the left side of your mat. Inhale and exhale. Walk your hands forward. Keep your back long. Go only as deep as you are comfortable and as you are able to keep a nice straight back. One more inhale. And exhale. Then sit tall and we'll do fire log or you can do Sukhasana easy pose. So left foot in first. Right foot can either come in front for Sukhasana or on top for fire log. Hands can come behind you. Nice long spine. And exhale, keep the length as you fold. You can bring your hands out in front if you want or keep them behind you. Then sit tall and move into Gomukhasana cow face or a seated figure four if Gomukhasana is not comfortable. Knees on top of each other now. Right knee on top of left. Feet out away from the hips about the same distance. Again, bring your hands behind you first. Inhale for length. Exhale to fold. Hands can stay behind you. You can bring them out in front. You can place them on your feet. Lots of options. Inhale, sit tall. And we're going to spin around to the other side. So stand up, turn to your left, all the way around until you're sitting again in cow face, this time with the left leg on top. Hands behind you. Inhale for length. Exhale to fold. Keep your weight back in your hips. Keep your back nice and long. Inhale, sit tall. Shift the shins to stack or the left foot in front for Sukhasana. And fold again over your legs. Inhale, sit tall. Open your legs wide, wide leg forward fold. Maybe you can come a little deeper this time around than you did the last time. If not, that's okay. Inhale, sit tall. Turn to face the front of the mat. Right foot comes in. Left foot comes around to the outside of the right thigh. Hug that left leg, left hand behind you. Seated twist. Inhale for length and exhale to twist. Once more, inhale for length and exhale to twist. Slowly release. 
take the left foot, bring your leg all the way back behind you, and find pigeon on the right. Once again, a nice, strong, upright pigeon. Draw your hips together, front to back, side to side. Keep your body nice and upright. Engage your back muscles to keep your back nice and straight and tall. Feel the stretch through your left hip flexors. One more inhale. And a full, complete exhale. Place your hands down so you can step your right foot flat and find your way back into a low lunge. Then exhale to half split. Inhale forward to low lunge. Exhale, half split. Once more, inhale forward to low lunge and exhale, half split. Inhale forward to low lunge, lift your left knee up, weight in your right foot, stand in that right leg to find warrior three. Then bend your right knee, bring your left knee forward, wrap your left leg around your right, find eagle. Arms can wrap or not. Gazing at one unmoving spot, squeezing your legs together as one leg. Then stand tall, unwrap your arms and your legs. Inhale, arms overhead and exhale to forward fold. Inhale, bend your knees and slowly roll all the way up to standing. Turn to face the left side of your mat. We'll do one more moon salutation. Inhale, arms overhead, interlace your fingers, release your pointer fingers and your thumbs. Exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, side bend to the left. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, step your left foot out. Find goddess pose. Inhale to triangle. Left leg straight, left hand down. Bring your right hand down. Inhale for length. And exhale, fold over your left leg. Pyramid. Inhale, lift up, lower your right knee. Come into low lunge. Moving into Skandasana on the left. And then to Malasana in the middle of your mat. One more Skandasana, this time on the right. And then turn to face the front of your mat, lower your left knee, come into low lunge. Lift your left knee, straighten your right leg, inhale for length, exhale, fold over your right leg, pyramid. Inhale, open your torso to the left, left arm up, triangle. Come on up, revisit goddess pose. Step your right foot to meet your left. Inhale, arms up, interlace your fingers. Release your pointer fingers and your thumb. Exhale, side bend to the left. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale, back to center. And exhale, hands to heart center. Then make your way down to the mat, lying 
on your back. Bring your knees so they're above your hips, bent at 90 degrees. Arms out to your sides like a T. Slowly and carefully lower your knees all the way down to the left for a gentle reclined twist. No effort required in this pose. Just let gravity do all of the work for you. Bring your knees back to center and slowly lower them all the way over to the right. Bring your knees back to center. Open your knees wide, point your feet up to the ceiling. Hold on to your shins, your ankles, your big toes, the outside of your feet for happy baby. Make sure to draw your sacrum down onto the mat. It's okay if your low back is off the mat slightly, but we want our sacrum on the mat, our shoulders on the mat, our head on the mat and then from there see how low you can also bring your knees without lifting your sacrum up off the mat no rounding through the low back And then release one foot at a time, long down to the edges of your mat. Let your feet flop open to the sides. Bring your arms by your hips or out wide by your sides, palms facing up. Close your eyes if you haven't already. Relax the clenching of your jaw and the pursing of your lips. Remove your tongue from the roof of your mouth. Swallow and relax your jaw. Release any gripping of your fingers. Let your breath just return to its normal automatic pattern. Let any last remaining bits of tension melt away as you melt into your mat. I invite you to stay here for as long as you'd like, for as long as you're able. If you're ready to move on with me, be begin to bring some life back into your fingers and your toes. Stretch your legs long, stretch your arms long overhead, nice big inhale. Exhale, roll over onto one side, and then bring yourself up to a comfortable seated position. Place one hand on your heart, 
one hand on your belly. Thank you for practicing with me today.